all of you hope you guys are great so in this video i'll tell you what you have not to do if you really want to save your time and you want to learn things faster so in this video i will highlight 10 points if you are a beginner wondering to learn blockchain development or any programming language if you want to step into the field of development then these are the things which you have not to do and that will save close to six to eight months of your life during the learning process and the reason why i'm telling you all of these things because i personally wasted six to seven months when i started learning this blockchain development so if i known all of these things then definitely i would be in a better place still i'm in the better place but it took me a little longer to be here so i will share this 10 points which i feel that it's very important and every single developer has to know about it whenever they learn something so the first thing i want to highlight that don't spend much time learning about the fundamentals and basics i know you might be thinking that what he is talking about why we should not focus more on fundamentals and basics terminology because what i have realized that many of you like those who are learning coding and those who are starting in the field of development they waste huge amount of time they waste huge amount of time learning the fundamentals and when you start coding you feel like you don't know you know nothing that's the exact feeling i got when i started learning about the blockchain fundamentals in ethereum concept because i was not focusing on the project i was focusing totally on the theoretical concept and when i started coding it was totally blank for me so don't spend much time learning about the fundamentals build project build project if you build project those fundamentals will come on your way and at that time you will learn because you will have a practical hand you will know that why you have learned that fundamentals and how you're going to implement in the project so don't spend too much time on the basics on the fundamentals i do understand that many of you are so scared about documentations but documentation is your true friend when you will start working on a project and when you want to know more about it you won't find tutorials like searching on googles those docs will help you those docs will help you to come up with the better features better optimization so you have to know that how you have to read the docs i'm not telling you to sit and just read the docs all together in one go build project whatever libraries you are using just try to find out that how you are utilizing that library in your in your project and what are the function you are calling and how that function is working exactly so everything is explained briefly in the docs if you talk about the open zeppelin it's one of the biggest library when it's come to building smart contracts so that's really huge so if you are using their packages you have to know that what is the erc20 token and what are the function it's provide and how it's generating and calling other contracts so all of the things are very important for you to know about it okay reading docs are really vital skills you have to know that what you have to read what you have to ignore so this will not happen in one night ultimately you have to use packages you have to spend some time on those library and the docs that will going to give you the experience and the ideas that what part you have to pick how you have to learn how you have to implement the functionality in your project so these are the things very important when it's come to reading the talks and again i'm telling you this will not come in in one month two month you have to build close to 10 project and when you will use multiple libraries you will find that all the lab all the docs have the similar architecture you can easily be able to scan it by looking at the docs that okay these are the things it's providing okay so don't need to worry about that if you still confuse about the docs it will come gradually so always refer to the docs whenever you use any library the third point is my favorite don't just copy paste the code from internet i do understand that there are codes are available for every single functionality which you want in your project but when you copy those code you have to understand that how that exactly working how you are getting that array how you are modifying the data how you are calling that function so you have to know that how the entire code is working and that way you will have a better understanding i would never encourage you to build something from scratch because if you build any dab if you build any web 2 applications all the app have the similar structure similar architecture so you don't need to start everything from the beginning and invent something new you have to use those idea you have to use those pre-built codes all you have to do is to modify and optimize that code in your project that should be your core thing okay and that way you will build the dApps or application very fast and that's what i call a good developer so resources are available to all of you you have to find out those valuable resources and whatever you are copying just try to understand don't simply just copy and paste that will put you in a really big trouble if you are working on a on a life project the reason why i'm telling you this personally because i have done that and i know that what kind of problems can create just imagine that your application is live visitors are coming product are selling and sometimes something bugs happen in that and you have no idea that what what is the problem you have in the code 
okay so try to understand the code which you are copying from internet the fourth problem i really want to highlight here is that try to improve your problem solving skill i do understand that everybody's talk about problem solving problem solving but it's really very important nobody will call you a good developer to build a basic application if you are solving a particular problem on that scenario you will be a good developer following a same pattern there is no big deal in that anybody can do that by they can follow the same road to build the same application to build the same app everybody can do that but when you try to find something new when you try to solve a particular problem for a specific industry for a specific performance purpose and that way you will improve your skills and will improve your knowledge so always try to solve problems try to find codes which are already there try to optimize try to find bugs in that that will give you the sharp and very good command on the programming language which project which you are working on okay so try to improve problem solving it's really very vital skills if you have that one you will be a really high demandable individual a developer in the field of industry okay in any field any industry need that problem solving skills any industry need that the fifth point is that practice daily if you are a totally beginner it doesn't matter that how much you have learned in a day i'm not here to talk about the quantity of learning i'm talking about the quality and steady so when you learn something small in a gradual time of period you will learn something big so just imagine that i'm starting learning about the sorty smart contract development so i have close to 60 videos you can follow that playlist I don't want you to learn every single thing in just one day cover the entire playlist in one or one week or 10 days I don't want you to do that I want you to pick two topics like I'm going to learn about the array I'm going to learn about the unt variables then in the next day I'm going to learn about the modifiers I'm going to learn about the function call smart contract call so that's that's how you have to navigate whenever you try to learn something new try to schedule your time scheduling your time is really very very important for you when you are learning learning something new Okay so never try to rush for learning anything spend time little bit time sometime you will get confused sometime it will not feel like you need to learn because that's will happen definitely that will happen when you will start learning this you will be frustrated and when you will have a mindset like that that you want to complete everything in one day and that scenario you, you never going to make it okay so practice daily practice daily and try to solve the problems try to build problems into that okay so that's the fifth i found that no one's talk about you have noticed that why there is so many version controls so if you install a particular package or particular libraries why it has so many versions that's the very important skills you need to have to understand that why a particular version exists and why there is a constant improvement in the particular package and library is happening so you have to know that how version controls work how you can tackle that if just imagine that you are building a, you have built any dapp and in that you have used a particular library which has a particular version library got the updated version so you have to know that how how you going to tackle that how you going to fix those issues which is there in the previous version and how you can improve with the new version so you have to know how version control exactly one and github is a really powerful tools which you can utilize for managing your version control of any application so github is really powerful i want you to search how to manage version control on github it will give you amazing data which you can utilize to understand that how you can monitor everything never feel like shy asking question if you are confused you say i don't know no matter who you need to get the answer so always be asking why it's happening why he built that particular project what is the reason behind that why he chose particular package particular library why he did that always you should have asked this so when you will ask this question and when you will build a project like that you will have a complete understanding about every single thing which a user or i have built any project which i have utilized you will ask that why he did that okay so asking question asking for help we all are here to help each other no one is perfect even i am still learning when you guys ask me something about the protocols i do my research i try to understand okay this is the thing which we can build it okay so there is a tons of thing which you can just just explore by asking question always find someone who is in the particular field you think that he is better than you ask him ask him no matter he is getting irritated ask him over and over again so that's the seventh point number 8 i want to highlight that whatever project you have built in the past always try to review that always try to understand that why you have used particular function particular logic to build that features 
because when I look at ba look back to all the projects which I have built on my channel, I can realize that I can make more optimized. I can bring the same functionality writing very less amount of code. I can make it more secure. So always review your code. Always review your code and test your code with tools, with collaborating with other developers. So that will give you a better idea and very good understanding of the language and the software. Okay. So always try to review your code. And the number nine point which I'm about to tell you that will decide that whether you will get a high paying job in the industry or you will get a mediocre level job. Anybody can build functionality, anybody can build tab, anybody can build application. But those developers who can make complex things simple, they are in high in demand. So if you have the skills to make complex things and explain and build the functionality in a simpler way, you will be appreciated in every single field. If you have that power to make complicated things as, as simple as it is, you will be in high demand. So you have to focus on this. And when you will do all of the eight things which I have explained in the past, if you do all of that, then you will reach at the nine portion. Because this is one of the really amazing, amazing skill you can have to make things simpler. And the last one we have is time. Never try to give up whatever you are learning because every single thing has a fixed time. No matter how hard you try, it will take that duration so if i'm learning a particular language and i'm totally newbie then i have to give time i can't do anything on that if i really want to master a particular language at least i have to give three months at least if I, it's my first programming language then three months is absolutely mandatory for any beginner to master the entire thing i'm not telling you that you will be the expert but you will understand that how the code is work and after that when you will build the project automatically you will get more knowledgeable you will have more command on the programming language okay so never try to give up on the project on the ideas on the learning it will take time but eventually it will come on your footstep it's going to work as you want so when you will start something the road is very like uneven you won't know someday you will feel very happy someday you will feel that the code is not working fine you will write 10 line of code and you will get 100 lines of error <laughs> that's happened by that's happened okay so that's the entire thing which you have to keep in mind if you are starting learning don't try to make things complicated try to follow this step as it is whatever you are utilizing whatever you are learning whatever you are building try to understand and go deeper into that because you have to go deeper one time if you are learning about the programming language you have to understand everything in one time understand deeply that particular concept and eventually when you will start working on it you will recall that okay there is a function there is a method which we can utilize to bring the functionality and that will save a lot of time you can easily be able to build and you don't need to just just think and do the searching okay so hope this and i think makes sense to all of you guys and i hope you guys will take this uh, take this into a consideration and you're going to implement while learning this blockchain development or web 2 development because these are the things which will help you and save your life it will save you one to six months trust me if you do that for the next three to four week, four month, it will save save your six month of your future time. Okay, so hope you find this video valuable. If you still have any confusion, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.